Here this summer, there's a warning about these. Asian hornets, which pose a risk to honeybees and pollinating insects. There were numerous sightings, mainly in Kent last year. Look out for their dark bodies with a distinctive wide orange stripe and yellow legs. So lovely out there at the moment. Is it going to continue? It is beautiful, but I have to say, make the most of it because over the next couple of days, the weather is steadily going to go downhill. We've got a lot of rain on the way, second half of the week. But uh, today it's a case of sunny spells. Um, a little ominous weather icon there, thundercloud, because we are expecting some showers to develop. Now, in terms of the rainfall, really rather a lot to come. I think in, in some parts of the country, if you look at the accumulation for the second half of this week, 30, 40 millilitres in places, and even around the north of Scotland, around the Murray Firth, we could see as much as 100 millimetres. So that could cause uh, some, uh, some problems. So a soggy end to the week for sure, after what has been a very pleasant, uh, well, end to the weekend and start to the week. And if we look at the summary for the rest of the week and into the weekend, you can see quite a few uh, rain icons there uh, and those temperatures sort of up and down a little bit with that weather. So Good afternoon. It has been a fine, dry and sunny start to the new week. Temperatures warm to very little in the way of cloud, just blue sky. And we're going to hang on to these conditions into the afternoon. Now, there is a small chance of a shower developing. So please tell me they're going to keep the sun. Oh, Charlene, don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh. I just want to like lie. Please, no. <laughs> well, there is quite a lot of cloud around tomorrow um, and maybe some showers. And then on Wednesday, we might get some thunderstorms. Brilliant. But you can hope that it doesn't happen because there's quite a lot of uncertainty, OK? So Thursday's okay. looking a bit nicer. Thursday? Oh, thanks. Thursday. We'll give a Thursday. Here we go. Hello again. I hope you had a lovely start to the week. We've got the babies joining us tonight. Look at that little one's little head just on the side. And this, a baby woodpecker, I believe. Isn't that gorgeous? Come out to see what's going on. Well, we can tell you, little ones, that it is going to be a bit cloudier tomorrow, the risk of some showers around. And then into Wednesday, potentially some heavy downpours and thunderstorms. But there is a lot of uncertainty about Wednesday. And as we go through the week, getting a little bit cooler. Uh, not too bad, but just a bit cooler than today. Let's Uh, and as we go into Wednesday, that's where that uncertainty kicks in. But look out for some thunderstorms. We'll keep you posted on how all that develops. That's weather. Let's take a little look at the pollen. So we're now looking at grass pollen. You'll be relieved to hear that the levels are low for the next few days. Hopefully not too bad for you. The tree pollen's still around, but it's certainly got through the peak of the season. That's it for now. See you later on. Cheerio. Chelsea medals will be announced tomorrow. Clive. OK, Daniela, thank you, Daniela Ralph there in Chelsea. Lovely weather for Daniela out there. Um, how long is that going to last? Oh, well, we did have some sunshine today there at Chelsea, but there might be a few showers over the next few days. Things are changing a little bit with our weather becoming increasingly unsettled through into the middle of the week. For most of us, we had a dry day with some blue sky and sunshine. This was the picture in Shropshire earlier on. There have also been a few sharp showers around, particularly towards the west. As we head through this evening and tonight, still the odd shower around, not completely dry, but there'll be some low clouds, some mist and some fog. So it turns a bit murky into the early hours of tomorrow. And the sun was shining for Chelsea. <laughs> what about the rest of the week? Gorsted is here to tell us. Oh, your Ooh, facial expression said it all. I have to keep it in, under <laughs> control. Yes, it was beautiful today, wasn't it? Plenty of sunshine. A change is on its way, I'm afraid, there is. But it's not going to be a complete washout. But today, hardly a cloud in the sky out there. This was the picture captured by one of our weather watchers. Now, if you are heading to the show over the next few days, well, I'm afraid it is worth taking an umbrella because there is the chance of some showers, an increasing chance for tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday. But it does become drier and more settled again to start the bank holiday weekend. Well, as we head through the course of this week, it is going to be getting a little bit cooler as we head through the next few days. We're also going to pick up the risk of some thunderstorms moving in, for which there are a couple of warnings, which I'll talk about in just a second. But let's take a quick look, actually, at the temperatures, which have been in the 20s today. They will start to cool off as we head through the course of this week, back down to 20 come Friday, uh, but that still will be above average for the time of year. Let's take a look at the pressure pattern setup, and as you can see, as we run that, we do get these weather fronts beginning to move in, and it's that which is going to be turning on the thundery side uh, as we head through into tomorrow and the next couple of days. Well, I tell you what you can do tonight is perhaps look for the northern lights. 
especially the further north you are with those clear breaks, there is a chance that we could get sight of them through the early hours of this morning. That is your forecast. All right, great stuff, Alex. Thank you.